So yes, my people, greetings. Greetings subscribers. Greetings all subscribers. New subscribers, greetings. Now, you see, this time of year now, this is the time when you encounter what leaf of leaves in your garden. For those who have trees in the garden or near to the garden, they're gonna encounter a lot of leaves like me. They have a whole heap of leaf to deal with, you know. See how the tree there? Then they just start to come along, you know. And then we have more, yeah. And when you come on the back, you know, the leaves are all about. Leaves upon my grass there. Yeah, you see that big tree there, right next door. You see that whole heap of them leaves, because ideally, I mean, I really have no tree in my yard if you give me leaf. So, yes, a few, but you know what I'm saying? So, the best thing for do when the leaves them start to come down, yeah? Especially if you want to keep your grass and your lawn um, proper, take up the, um, the leaf them off of your grass as soon as possible, because those are the type of thing when the leaves them stay up and if you left them upon there, anyway you see the spot them there, I guess so it tend to form moss. After the leaves start to rotten, you start to farm moss, so you, you end up with your land full up of moss and them things that inner it. But as you know, may not keep them kind of grass still. Yes, and them leaf here. Yeah. Anyway, you see them, them farm moss, so you have to take them up, yeah? Um, you see them things here? Uh, we see how come up in the, 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 um, in the grass, them little dirt spot there. Yeah. They call a worm cast them. Worm. So anytime the worm then leave them good in a way still, you know. In a way you know, because the worm them come up and the worm them when they start rotting and stuff, the, the worm then come up and feed upon them. So you see that worm cast you know, to be honest with you, that worm cast, that worm cast is like a good manure. If you can gather that worm cast, trust me. But what we do now, we know um we don't really gather it still. We have a thing where if you want, when you cut your grass and you see them come up, you can just like sweep it in your in your in your in your in your lawn, yeah. But ideally, them leaves have to take up, yeah. Get rid of them as fast as possible as you can. You understand? That they will come down enough, you know. Mm -hmm. But what we do now, the best thing for do after you get up, you leave them. If you have a big garden and you're in a whole heap of flowers and things, and you use a lot of compass. Eat them together, but you don't put them in a row, in a heap or whatever. Get your lawn mower, chop them up fine. Yeah. The lower settings, the lower settings you put your lawn mower upon is the finer them cut. Like me now. So my lawn mower put it on what that? Four. I deal them because with trees still, but I don't rush. Yeah, but the lower settings you cut them up fine. The higher settings come like you just take up the leaf them older. So after you do that now. If you have a compass bin like me now, so you take them up in your lawnmower. I'll yeah, show you what I'm going. See, I'm going to blow on my other thing. Yeah, I'm going to show you what I'm going to drop. Hold it, pass it in there. Anyway. Yeah. Show you a thing. So, when you cut them up now, see my compass bin here. Throw them in there. And after a while, they break down. If you look down at the bottom of my compass bin there from last year, I have compass in there. Yeah, man. I make my own compass, you know. Leaf mold, very good for compass. Yeah. So if you have leaves in your garden and you want to get rid of them, that you have to do. Rate them up. If you have a lawn mower, chop them up. And if you don't have a compass bin, find a little corner, make one little place of one corner. If I'm if it board, use some board and just bar off one little place. You can buy a compass bin too, you know. Yeah. And just throw them in there. And you do that every year. You find, say, but you don't know, you don't even have to buy a compass more than so. Because you rotate everything from out of your garden and not turn in a compass. Yeah, man, that me do. All them tomatoes and something spoil and everything. Anything when mirror spoil, we just take them up, chop them up, throw them in there. Next year, I will do my start take from the bottom. We have compass enough. I say you have to do if you want to get rid of your leaf them, yeah? So that me depends, you know. You can finish in a one day still. That me do look today. They go tomorrow. Every day I have less for you. Yeah. Me always say, the more you do today, the less you have for you tomorrow. That's my thing. Yeah. 
The people, I just say, I show the people them how, how, how you forget where their leaves them in your garden if you have one leaf, a leaf and how you can use them and put them to use as well. But me as a recycled gardener, that is what I do. Yeah. You see all them askers and things them, you know, where I rot down. All them leaves, you know, when they have one at a time, we just cut them off, put them on run my lawn over them, chop them up. Yeah, I'm not advise if you use like sticks, you know, but then leaf here were easy, were rotten, quick and fast, them thing there. But anything with stick, I'm not advise it. Leaves, soft leaves. Yeah. So, anyway, people, are that, me are sure now. So, we're going back and do what I have to do you now because I'm alone at work. Nobody now help me, you know. Yeah. So, I'm going to do my thing. See? Big up on yourself.